What's up? Dewey Daniels here. And as you see, the headline says Chris Bosch and Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg team up to promote computer coding education. Um, ran to this article by my man Kelly Dwyer of Ball Don't Lie. And um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty uh, interesting when you um, take a look at it because you know you don't associate Chris Bosch with Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg but what they're trying to do is get people back into the the idea of coding and there's a little video of course that's starting to promote it you see it here um, we'll watch a little bit of it but Chris Bosch of course into computers coded in college and stuff like that I coded in college too but I failed out of that so I went back to you know WYSIWYG, which is what you see, what you get. So I'm one of those guys that does not know coding. I know basic coding, but I failed out of the program. So, well, I didn't fail out because long story, another story, another day, another day. Anyway, but um, I tried to take it up because I knew that's where the world was going. Everything's going to be on computers. I, you know, I never thought one day I'd be recording myself off of a computer. Somebody did the coding for this. So you know, it's exciting. I just want to play a little bit of this. Um, I wonder if I can play it in this video. Everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer because it teaches you how to think. Wow, Steve Jobs. I was 13 when I first got access to a, a computer. My parents bought me a, a Macintosh in 1984 when I was 8 years old. I was Do for Twitter. I learned to code in college. Freshman year, first semester, um, intro to computer science. I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I think it was pretty humble beginnings. I think the first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color? Or help. This dude did the Dropbox. I use the Dropbox nowadays um, when you're sending files to each other. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. The first time I actually had something come up and say, hello world, and it, the, I made a computer do that, it was just astonishing. Learning how to program didn't start off as wanting to learn all of computer science or, um, or trying to master this discipline or anything like that. It just started off because I wanted to do this one simple thing. I wanted to make something that was fun for myself and, and my sisters. And I wrote this little program and then basically just add a little bit to it. And then when I need to learn something new, I looked it up, either in a book or on the internet, and then added a little bit to it. It's really not unlike kind of playing an instrument or something, or, 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 you know, or playing a sport. It starts out being very intimidating, but you kind of get the hang of it over time. Coding is something that can be learned. And um, I know it can be intimidating. A lot of things are intimidating, but, uh, you know, what isn't? A lot of the coding that people do is actually fairly simple. Um, it's it's more about the process of breaking down problems than, uh, you know, sort of coming up with complicated algorithms as people traditionally think about it. So, coding isn't that difficult. Now, some of the sites I do nowadays, I do go about it where I'm actually writing the code because I need to add, I need to center things, I need to move it. So, you have to, all you have to do is go look up what the code is these days to do that, and you can do it. I... I, I'm interested in learning, you know, it from the ground up, but not interested in that much where I want to start a new revolution. But I know there's people out here who are like that, and I think it's pretty interesting that Bill Gates, Mark Zuck, and um, and Chris Bosch, and a lot of these other guys who, of course, are whiz kids at computer coding, coming together to promote it. Um, I think it does teach your kids how to think because. You're, what you're actually doing is teaching the computer how to think. So in order to teach the computer how to think, you got to know how to think. So it's a win-win. So if you got kids, let them learn how to use these gadgets and not just use them, but how to code them and, you know, create them. It would be very, uh, very financially rewarding for them later on in life. All right, signing out. Do Daniels. Do Daniels.com.